Welcome back to our channel, Warriors. We are still growing. If you haven't had that inmates whose dreams, aspirations, and goals were to always be a chiropractor and got it fulfilled last week, my hat's off to him. You're doing it. Congratulations. Make a wish foundation. Hit the smash button. Hit the, <laughs> hit the subscribe button. Keep pushing forward. God bless you, my boy. First and foremost, let me give a shout out to the growing list. Holy shit, we hit 100 patrons. I can't freaking believe it. Thank you guys. This is nuts. This is, oh my God, I'm besides myself. Here we go. Lockdown 5, Crystal Bond, La Reina, Raymond, Tony Rex, Hernan, Michael Mua, Winston, Alejandro, Trelero 760, Grant, El Skid, Nathan, Hobie Cat, Mika Boy, Lead With Love, Charles, Elbert 12, AI Vega, Feel back in the motherfucking house. Escale, Big Bad 48, JT, Nova, Jack, Linda, Angel, Michigan Wolverines, Mikey 559, The Homie Marius, Javel 66, GG, Abuelita Irma, G, and Abuelita's Journey, and Dal Serrero. If you have not already signed up for that Patreon, I cannot explain to you how much you are missing out. Make sure you hit that link in the description below. This episode right here, man, I'm telling you, friends, best friends, Warriors of all walks of life's experiences. Your boy has been grinding it out every single morning, every single day, being transparent. This is what transparency looks like. This is what transparency looks like. Being forthcoming, being open. Hey, what's behind this curtain over here? Ooh. Oh, what's behind this curtain over here? Ooh. Right. So what would you do, Hector? I mean, we're riding with you. We're riding with you. We see it now. The, our eyes are open. I can see clearly now the rain. Speaking of rain, man, the media, the news put a 10 on this little Hurricane Hillary. It, it just rained. You want to know how bad it got in San Diego? It rained, period. So, Hector, if you were Jeff McCumber right now, with everything going on, what would you do? Okay, if you were Jeff McCumber, but with your mindset, with your mindset, Hector. <laughs> All right. Jeff McCumber was appointed CDCR secretary by Governor Gruesome Newsom on December 12th, 2022. That's kind of funny because I resigned on December 1st, 2022. His career spanned Nearly three decades. That's 30 years. Beginning as a correctional officer at Ironwood State Prison in 1993. Hey, my dad happened to start in 1993. Here we go. I know a little bit of something about COs in 1993. I watched one come home every day and whoop my ass with a Sam Brown belt when I was doing crank calls and I shouldn't have been doing it. Right, the cops came over one time. It was all bad. <laughs> I was a kid. First and foremost, okay, this is me, Jeff McCumber, in the mind with the mindset of Hector Bravo. As soon as Gruesome Newsom, Governor Newsom of California, approached me and said, We're gonna do a Norway project here in California, starting at San Quentin, I would have said, Stop right there, sir. No, we're not. <laughs> no, we're not, no, we're not, no, we're not. As a matter of fact, let me document this conversation because I'm telling you right now, no, we're not. With due with all due respect, sir. Period. Well, why you got to document it, Hector? Because they're going to shit can him, right? They're going to get rid of him. As soon as he tells the hot powers of above, no, they're going to get rid of him. We know the game. It's called politics, right? Dirty. That's how things got so bad. Well, let's play devil's advocate. Let's say Gruesome Newsome is a, is a, is a sound-minded individual and says, well, what do you mean, McCumber? What do you mean you're not going to do the Norway project? This is what his response should be. Oh, sir, right now, governor, CDCR is off the hook. We got to repair it. We got to go back in time. We got to undo a lot of messes, sir. Specifically, we, the sensitive needs yard was a complete and utter failure. Uh, we have too many missions at every single prison. We have so many lawsuits. We got lawsuits on top of lawsuits. We got a federal receivership over medical. The feds are all up in our business, sir. Right? This, oh, damn, Hector. Like, that takes nuts. That takes a spinal cord. Right? Yeah, man. How hard is it? I did it as a lieutenant. I don't get it. 
Motherfuckers, they don't build them like they used to. They don't make motherfuckers like they used to, right? Yeah, that guy's a little bit older than me, but come on, man. I was born in 1984. This dude was a CEO in 1993. I was nine years old. How the fuck is it that I'm able to talk the way I talk and do what I do? Right? <laughs> People like me and that that crib from Rolling 30s just, hey, you don't, you don't fuck around. I'm telling you, man. <laughs> I'm telling you. You, 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 you don't want to test the wrong one, man. Anyways, right? Hey, sir, not going to happen. Nah, as a matter of fact, I, I need you to get out of here, man. I got a lot of shit to do. All right, now I got to board a plane. I got to go down to Donovan. What happened now at Donovan? Sir, man, again, I'll get back to you. You had an, you had an OG inmate with a K number crack a motherfucking officer's neck. Crack his neck. Is he all right? Yeah, he just adjusted him. <laughs> so, so the Norway Project's a success. Ah, sir, again, I don't got time for you. Then I'm going to go down to fucking... <sighs> then I'm going to go down to Donovan, right? And I'm going to pull the warden, the chief deputy warden in the office, and I'm going to say, what the hell? What the hell have you guys created here? Such an environment. Where the officers think it is okay to get a spinal cord adjustment by an inmate on a level four yard, no less. Then the managers are going to do what they do, right? (laughs) Sir, well, that's a nice tie and some nice shoes you got there, sir. God damn it, James. Didn't I tell you I don't want you sucking my cock right now? We're here for some real business, son. Right? You got to talk to them this way, man. They don't be the days of kissing ass. And rubbing your nose in the butthole are over. They have to be over. Look at the catastrophe. I'm telling you. I'm sp- I am left so I can say this kind of stuff. Ooh, they would have fucked me over if I would have still been in the department talking like this. The truth. Right? So, God damn it, managers. Yeah, I would even raise my tone. You sons of bitches. You idiots. You fucked up my department. God damn you. Now I don't even get to enjoy your my... My seat as a secretary, I have to unfuck everything that's been done the last few fucking decades because of you buffoons, right? Again, this is me talking in wearing uh, whatever the name is, boots, McCumbers, shoes. <sighs> Do I need to replace you? Do I need to replace you fucks? I don't even know who I'm going to replace you with, right? Do I need to? We have to promote Bill. I don't know who Bill is. Bill, we're going to have to hire competent individuals. I know we haven't done this in 30 years, but this is something we're going to have to do. Hey, sounds like a great idea, boss. Of course it sounds like a fucking great idea. Why wouldn't you? Right? Why the fuck wouldn't you? All right. Okay, unfuck this, warden. Unfuck this. Go to the, go to the yards, go to the buildings, and explain to the officers and the inmates why they should not be touching each other. I don't even know why we're having this conversation. As a matter of fact, if I hear one more peep out of Donovan, I'm shutting this fucking bitch down. I'm out of here. You've made me sick to my stomach, right? You send a message like that, and they're like, holy shit. Motherfucking boss ain't playing around, right? (laughs) Motherfucker actually cares, right? Where would I go next? Eh, what else is crazy shit has happened? I would go to Willie Wasco, that one officer, poor officer suffering from mental health fucking breakdown. And I would go and talk to that warden and say, man, I don't know what type of sh- fucking show you're running here to the ground. But uh, clearly these officers need help and you're not providing it for them. Um, Yeah. Fix it before I fix you. I'm out of here. Bill, start up the car. I'm fucking out of here. Boom. You're out of there, right? By the way, Bill, here's my credit card. Buy pizzas for the whole fucking <laughs> lieutenants and below. Nah, fuck it. Sergeants and below. Right? Let the real grunts in the in the trenches. Right? Boom. Then I would go and look at the memorandum of whoever signed the sending of the fucking Fresno Bulldogs to Ironwood to, uh, <laughs> where else did they go? Calipat. And I'll say, I'll say like this. Uh, Cause my eyes, my eyes are shot right now. But I'll look and I'll say, "All right, I see who signed this." So, uh, what, what, what was your plan? Oh well, boss, like the plan was to um, 
transfer the Fresno Bulldogs down to Ironwood. <laughs> okay, now, what was your plan? Uh, that, that's the plan, sir. That's the fucking plan? Don't you know I started my career in 1993 in Ironwood, you dumb motherfucker? Right? Don't have... Where the fuck have you been the last 30 fucking years? Don't you know that the Fresno Bulldogs are not welcome on any other fucking yard down south or anywhere else as a result of the inmate politics? Well, <laughs> well sir, we don't follow inmate politics. Yeah, I understand that. But we have a duty and a responsibility to ensure their fucking safety, their health, and their well-being while incarcerated within our department, you dumb fuck. <laughs> Holy shit. Haven't you realized we're a multi-mission, faceted department, you fuck? Right? Here we go. Oh, shit. <sighs> Who's going to foot that fucking bill, right? All these fucking people got hurt. Uh, you know what? You sign this fucking memo, you're getting fucked. Fuck you, period. I'm out of here. Bill, start up the car. Again, we're going. We're this is the this is the uh, what's his face McCumber tour fixing the department. Right? Wait a minute. Wasn't Rosie O'Donnell taking a tour at Donovan of the Pooch program? Nope. Somebody get her a fucking manager on the phone. Hey Rosie. Hey Rosie. Yeah, huge fan. Huge fan of your show. I can't remember which one. Married with children. <laughs> no, that's not the one. Anyways, um, you're not welcome back because uh. My department is in shambles. I got to be honest with you. I got to be transparent. My department is so fucked up. It, it beyond fucked up. All right. Yeah, no, man, it's not nothing personal, girl. Don't trip. But uh, yeah, yeah, just don't come back. Right? Don't come back. Yeah, okay, bye. Good, she ain't coming back. Right? The whole purpose that I'm trying to say is you got to stop the fucking bullshit, right? Imagine if there's a barrel with holes and you got water leaking out. You got to plug the fucking holes. Plug the hole. Hey, you, warden of fucking Donovan, put your fucking finger here, idiot. You, warden of Wasco, put your fucking finger here, you idiot. Rosie O'Donnell, put your thumb right here, ma'am. Boom. Who you calling ma'am, sir? Right here, lady. Whoop. It's Ben Sass, right? You got to plug the holes. You can't be adding things like Norway projects. You can't be adding stupid facades, fucking dog and pony shows. You sure the fuck can't be blaming the officers and blaming the inmates and blaming the family members of the inmates for your buffoonery, for your incompetence, for your negligence, right? So then maybe fucking five and a half, ten years from now, we can revisit that conversation with the then governor. Be like, hey, sir. Oof, wow, that was a rough 10 years, man, but we did the right thing. We put our problems out in the open. We showed everybody, hey, man, this is what the steps that we're taking, right? These are the steps that I took. Yeah, it's a fucking mess, sir. I'm not going to lie to you. I'm not going to bullshit you. It's a mess, man. It's a mess, but at least it's not as bad as it used to be. So what's up? What's up with this Norway project? You want to talk about it or what, man? I got some time. I got some coffee. I got some, you know, some good cigars. You like cigars? That's how it should be. Right, is this so fucking hard? Well, heck, it's not that easy. Yeah, grow a pair of fucking nuts, grow a fucking spine, say what you feel, get it off your chest, and just fucking do it. Uh, I don't, I don't see how that is not a possibility. Again, I did it, I did it. Right, so for me to show you it's possible, it is fucking possible. With that, man, the message for today is clearly they don't care. Because if they did care, they would do everything I just suggested. If they did care, they wouldn't put a fake facade up in the front while everything's on fire in the background. If they did care, they wouldn't preach transparency when they're doing everything but. With that, I gave you guys a little bit of leadership, tips, tricks. Yeah, it's not going to always look pretty. But hey, it'll get the fucking job done. Keep pushing forward.